Ready? What's this called again? Magic Mind. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful Melbourne morning out there, and we're back. Kamal, Dean. hot off the heels of his appearance at the world's longest magic show at Luna Park. <laughs> this, 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 that again. That was like... <laughs> that one. It's a beautiful Melbourne morning out there, and it is Melbourne, it is beautiful, it is a morning. Sort of. Mm. Anyway, we're back. My name is Dean, this is... Oh, sorry, I should have introduced you first. That's okay. This is Kamal, I'm his friend Dean, and we're back. This week, reviewing more magic, courtesy of Paper Magic Link. Uh, send away to Paper Magic all your magic, all, all magic-related goods, everything you could possibly need mm. ah, for magic. So, tasty. Tasty. this very tasty. Mm. Um, this week's episode is called Blast from the Past. Is that's, that right, Kamal? That's right, Dean. It's all stuff that it's not from the past, but we can we've woven it in. Mm. So it's almost as if it was from past. <laughs> almost. What's this thing? Oh, yeah. not a nice DVD box there. Nice bit it of is. purchase. Nice bit of packaging. And I see. And you'd think it'd be a nice DVD in here. And there is a DVD. There in is here. a nice DVD and in here. And a few props and things. This oh, is. We'll get, well, we'll get to that. Mini magician. Mini Magician. By Dave Bonsall. He's from England, if I'm not mistaken. I believe Dave Bonsall is the guy that runs Prop Dog, isn't he? Ah, Prop Dog. He always comes across really well, Dave Bonsall. He's got a lot of interesting things out on the market. They run, I guess they've got a shop front, and mm. they've also got a workshop where they manufacture different things. Mm. Um, this, um, I don't know, th what do you think of this? Mini Magician, hang on a second, let's make sure we get this very blurry for everyone at home. Perfect. Yep. Now, blinded by the DVD <laughs> cover. Uh, Mini Magician, it, what was the original name for this trick? I can't remember, but the wasn't it? Assistant or? Something like something that, like yeah. That. And it was, um, am, I, am I right in thinking that it was just a little doll's hand? Yes, I believe put, so. That you put on your, your pinky or your mm. little finger and you make it look like the, yep. the doll's hand reaches out. All right, okay, and now for the, uh, the final vanish. Um, and uh, this one, I'm going to actually let you see it uh, okay. disappear. Uh, if I place the coin in just the right spot, like here, and I kind of do it in slow motion, you actually get to see the coin disappear. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I gotta tell you, that's among the stupidest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I've ever <laughs> seen. So, yeah. I I we saw well, something those, similar man. to this with the cat's paw. Yeah, almost exactly back. the same. Almost exactly the same. Because just it was a different species. Yeah. This so, is human. That was cat. Yeah. So in this one, uh, you have the mini magician's little hand uh, after you've had a card selected, come out and produce a card for you from your little cupped. Hands. Yeah, so it's a bit, what Dave Bonsall and Prop Dog have done is they've made this into more of an actual effect. Mm. They've made it into a card effect where, yes, a card is selected and you say something like, oh, my little friend, the mini magician who lives inside my hand, he already knows what the card is. Check mm. it out. And the little magician's hand comes out holding the card. It's very cute. Mm. You can also red card someone down the pub That's, as well. I actually quite like that. Um, yeah, the, you were it, saying you like that part. I, yeah, I do. It comes with a bunch of uh, different cards and things. We'll just hide the little props. Yeah, hide the props. Hide with, the props. Uh, all the different cards of the deck. So if you want to force your favourite card, it's a force. Exactly. Uh, you could force your favourite card. Uh, it also comes with a red card or a, a black card. I'm not much yeah. of a soccer fan, but... You yeah, get, you, you know where you're going with this. You know where you're going. You can, your little, the little hand comes out, and you can red card your mate down the pub for being an idiot or whatever. Or I think that's quite good. You go, no, oh, red card you. Then my mate's going to red card you. Yep. And the little card. Uh, and the cards that come with this, the mini cards, mm. they're on like a stiff sort of cardboard. Yep. You cut them out with a and you sort of standing knife, exacto knife, exacto knife, exact and, and you glue yeah. them to the and you mini glue the, just, yeah, just a glue stick. Uh, yep. What is it called? Just a glue stick. Yeah, UV print stick, whatever that's called. Still called glue stick. Still called glue stick. You do this, and it goes on. And um, it's very well made. It's a very nicely sculpted, uh, mm. cast, plastic uh, hand. But I don't know. For me, I don't really know what to say beyond that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, we, we've had cat's paw. We've had little babies' dolls' hands. 
Are we, they're going to be another one of these? Is someone going to think of something else? We can <laughs> do with be. a baby hand? I don't know. There's going to be a hand coming out doing billy ball routine next. <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be great. You cut the billiard balls out. It yep. gives you like flat two-dimensional <laughs> billiard balls. I do like Dave Bonson. I think he's done a really good job with his business prop dog at releasing um, you know, high-quality versions of things that sometimes aren't available anymore to mm. musicians, like good quality reels uh, for like, you know, silk through uh, mic stand and things like mm. that and uh, various other things. But beyond that, I just don't really know what to say about Mini Magician. We know what it is, don't we? It's a little hand that comes out of your cupped fist mm. and that, and it reveals a card now. Well, Dean, I, would, I would you say... I don't to say about that. Well, would you say this is a great opportunity for you to do the 12-inch penis joke? <laughs> the 12-inch penis joke? <laughs> You actually, he's going to have to cut that. Sean is going to have to cut that because that really did sound like pianist. When you said pianist, it sounded more like pianist. Mm. Anyway, mm. it would be, wouldn't it? So I've got, that's a great, did you think of that joke? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. If you know that joke, I'm not going to tell it now. Well, we've kind of already told mm. it. Not much use in telling a joke that there's already a punchline for. Yes. Um, but you could it's say, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> I've got a 12-inch pianist in between my hands. <laughs> and then sure enough, and he knows your card. Sure enough, he pokes his hand out and that 12 inch penis, let me just try and gauge that. <laughs> yeah, it would work out about 12 inches yeah, for a yeah. person. If you're, so. a, if you're a 12 inch tall person, that'd be how big your hand was. Mm. And he's got quite long fingers because obviously he's got to play the piano. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, so I don't you, know. Would I recommend um, it? Who's, who's buying this? Um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a bit, I'm a bit baffled by this. I don't know who's buying it really. Are you buying it? No, no, but I don't have any reason to do it. Okay. It's very tiny. Like someone down the pub, maybe. Someone down the pub. I someone doing good card tricks. This. Yeah, doing card tricks down the pub or whatever. Yeah. Guys that do card tricks. I suppose like if you're doing like roving, walk around magic and you want something a little bit different, but you just want to do card tricks, well, this takes up no space at all. Yep. You can still do a card trick, but it's a card trick that looks different. It's not a spare deck. It's not a trick deck. It's just a, a little tiny prop that you... Can do a revelation with. Do a revelation with, yeah. Yep. In an interesting way. Okay. Um, so, um, interesting. It's kind of like maybe everyone should buy it. Just, it's a toy. It's, it's a, a toy. toy. It's a good toy. It's a good toy. Have a good laugh with I don't know how much it is. I, I, I've been banned from talking about <laughs> prices, by the way, because on last week's or last fortnight's episode, I did say something about $70. And fortunately for us, the prop was under 70 but um, I don't want to make those mistakes mm. again. So, uh, I, think, I, think, no like I, say, I, I think the great part about this show is we actually don't know how much these things cost. We have no idea. No concept we, whatsoever. We don't know how much they cost, we haven't watched the trailers, and no. we've never done the tricks. I'll watch some of the trailers. No, we have done all the other things. No, we have. But we, we, do, we don't know how much they cost. No, no it's idea. All, it's all down to Sean and Piper Magic. Give him a call. We're reviewing honestly. Sean told us to be honest about these tricks, he did. didn't he? He did. He said, we've got no financial stake in this whatsoever at all. No. We're just being honest about tricks. That's right. That's right. Mm. So uh, we can review these things independently of price. Yeah. So uh, That's quite good to know. Maybe people didn't realise that. Maybe they didn't. Yeah, they might not realise yeah. that. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So that's Mini Magician. So, um, yeah. up next, Dean. Up next, Kamal. Blast from the past. Yeah, DVD. Do you, do you remember the cup? <laughs> DVD from the past. <laughs> do you remember those? Do you those? remember... The Cups and Balls. A classic of magic. A classic of magic. Mm. I do I, I remember something about them. I believe there are three cups are and cups, three balls. Are there cups involved? Yes. And balls? Yes. Yeah, I remember the it. Cups and balls. I remember it now. Yeah, good. Yeah, something this, about cups and balls, isn't it? Blurry. Blurry. Again. Uh, this is Jamie Ian Swiss's... Uh, Swiss's? Jamie Ian Swiss apostrophe? Jamie Ian Swiss apostrophe's... Uh, anyway, it's his. It's his, isn't it? it? A That's masterclass nice. in cups and balls. The cups and balls. Now, there are many cups and balls DVDs out there, Dean. Uh, Michael there are has had uh, yep. one or two in his time. Yeah. There's, the a, there's a basic one that Troy Hooser um, is introduced. Is that the Royal Magic yeah, one? Yeah, the Royal one. Yeah, that was, Remember, that was we used to, bad. We used to have that, didn't we? At the, yeah. Uh, the old shop. Uh, yeah. So this is the Jamie and Swiss version. Raphael now, Benatar, he's got one too. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, Dean... Mm. Honestly. Honestly. You've watched this. I have watched it. What did you think? Cover to cover. <laughs> Alright, first of all, let me preface this by saying that I like Jamie and Swiss. And I always have liked him. I used to work at Davenport's Magic. Mm -hmm. And Jamie and Swiss, Swiss used to come and do lectures there. Very nice guy. Uh, I remember at the time, back when he was about 30, he, was a, I mean, he still is a great sleight of hand magician. Yep. But he was cutting edge in his 30s. He was the next thing. Like the He was like with the Lata people and all these mm. uh, New, mm. York, New York guys. Um, this DVD is a bit clunky for me, right? Mm. It's a bit, it, in fact, it's a lot clunky. 
The production value of it is, the routine, I don't know whether Jamie in Swiss is, a, it's not the right kind of environment for him to be presenting this trick in, he's performing for cameras. Mm. Um, some of the moves are clunky, I wouldn't call it a masterclass. Flashed, just, flashed a few times here and there. Flashed a few times and um, I just don't know, I hate to say this about him because I'm sure if you saw Jamie Ian Swiss's Cups and Balls live in the moment, in reality, you'd think it was fantastic. Yep. But maybe it just doesn't translate to this cabaret style situation that he's having to present it in. Because it's not a street version of the Cups and Balls. It's not a Gazzo, uh, Nick Nicholas style version of the Cups and Balls. It's a close-up version of the Cups and Balls, mm. right? So um, it doesn't translate to like 200 people who are watching mm. it, I don't think. And uh, he uses a red backdrop yep. and red balls. Mm. It looks like the balls are vanishing, but they're not supposed to be vanishing. Mm. Every now and then when he moves out of the way. So, look, so it's like a black eye almost. <laughs> red, red art, art red <laughs> art, yeah. Accidental red <laughs> art. Um, so the production, it, it seemed like it wasn't, it, to me, it's not very well directed. It's not very well produced in terms of, a, of the DVD. The routine isn't particularly brilliantly doesn't really brilliantly translate to the mm. to the, uh, the the form that we're watching it in here. Yep. I just don't know. Like um, the the Michael Amar video is still for me the one that you should get yep. if you want to learn cups and balls. There's two in the set. Yep. Uh, the ultimate. What's it called? The ultimate cups and balls. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's wrong. Um, uh, but there's also another DVD that I watched as I was preparing to review this that the late Daryl put out. Oh, yes. And I don't know who Daryl um, put out these DVDs with, but there's, there's a few. There's a there's a Svengali deck one, there's a mental photography deck one, there might be a rope one, and Daryl does a Cups and Bulls DVD. Mm. And it's really nice. Really good production values, really well presented, he looks sharp, he's a brilliant magician, was a brilliant magician, and I would say, I'd probably be saving, I don't know what they're going to say again, <laughs> don't, don't talk about money things. Because, well, I know, I know the Daryl wants $13, it's a download from Sean. I don't know how much this is. Okay. I would be rather getting the download and watching Daryl Martinez yep. perform a really nice, in a nice lit sort of situation, yep. talking about cups and balls, than watching Jamie and Swiss do this in a, in a, I don't know, it's like it's in It's some, a bit of a mess. Yeah, I hate to say that, but it's a little bit, just this one thing from yeah. Jamie and Swiss <laughs> seems just a little bit clunky to me right now. It, look, it, it is clunky, and as I'm sure Sean is uh, showing in the, in the trailer right now, there's a bit with the Vernon once been vanished that yeah. really, really yeah. gets to me. Mm. It's a mm. like, normally it's a beautiful move, mm. uh, but presented here, oh, it's not, well. I mean, it's watching, not great. yeah. Again, though, I mean, it's a very nerve wracking thing to do. I remember I, I tried to model my way through that a couple of times before I realised this ain't for me. I'm never yeah. doing this. Be aware of your limitations in magic. You know, sure, but you would think that if if you know you're not skilled at that particular vanish. Maybe don't try and present a masterclass yeah. on that vanish. Yeah, maybe. The word, the word masterclass is used here in a very odd way. Like, mm. I'm not exactly sure whether that's... Maybe Jamie was Jamie and Swiss has been... The, the, the branding of this came before... I don't know it's come. the branding's come after the actual oh, yeah. film. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it was his idea to brand it as a masterclass. I don't want to say too much about that, but I'd rather um, buy the Daryl one than this. Yeah. And I'd rather buy the Michael Amell one, which is probably more expensive than this. But again... I don't know, because I don't know how much anything is. Um, yeah, again, it's a bit like the Dave Bonsall trick. I just don't know what to say about this, really. I don't know what more I can say about That's this. That's okay. So, Dean, you know? fair to say you're not buying this? No, I wouldn't buy it. Okay, would you recommend anyone else buy this? No, I'd recommend they buy those other DVDs. Okay, fantastic. All right, good Unfor to know. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. Bad news for Jane Ian Swiss. Yeah, no, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Yes, a little oh, bit. Well. A little oh, bit. well. Now, All right. Dean... Mm -hmm. The blast from the past episode does not stop there. It doesn't. And what, <laughs> what kind of blast from the past episode would this be come up without chewing gum and mints? Agreed. Presented um, in a way they're not presented anymore. That's right. Mag <laughs> magnetically stuck together. They were never presented that way. Are they, they magnetically stuck together? <laughs> no, he's just holding them very tightly yeah, together. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> okay. So what is this thing? This is <laughs> magic... <laughs> this is magic twist. This is magic twist. I think it's a twist of flavour or... Uh, it, it's hard to work out exactly. Can you see that in that blurry vision there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they can. Yeah. Um, it's very hard to tell what the name of this trick is based on because the packaging. Because it says Twister by Illusionista Snake Flavor. Snake I'm, Flavor? Snake Flavor. That's weird. Uh, but it, it smells a bit snaky. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Uh, this is a transforming packet of mint type gum type yeah. routine. It's, you... a tra it's a transformation mm. of two packets of gum presented in the old fashioned way. That you can't buy anymore. You can't buy well, anymore. in Australia anyway. As sticks. Yeah. No, you can't. And you can't in the UK either because I was um, 
watching another review of this that someone else did and they were saying how oh, these aren't in England I don't know if they're in the US no idea <laughs> anyway you can tip some gum out of these um, on the video he tips out little tabletized yep. gum yep. not the kind of gum you put in these packages but okay. he does he does it anyway yep. and then transforms two bits of gum which you can show on both sides with no suspicious moves you can actually show them on both sides mm -hmm. gives them a bit of a shake and they turn into one packet of mints I'm not going to do this now Sean can put the, uh, the clip there yep because the, watching the clip is much better than me doing it. He goes, I can, all, we, I can already tell that you can't really see that that well on the camera. Mm. So, um, so it turns into a I'll larger... Give to you, thank you. I? Yeah, it turns into a... Um, <laughs> not to give anything away, but it turns okay. into a packet of mints that's double the size. <laughs> double the size of the two bits yeah, of gum. So it it's the same size as the two bits have gone together. Wonder how it worked. Uh, anyways, so yeah. Uh, what do you think of this? This is... Um, look, I think another great YouTube-style oh, visual effect. The, it, the it does trailer look amazing. Looks amazing. <laughs> you, looks... You're no doubt watching it now. Sean will do something comedic now, as he always does when I say, you're no doubt watching it. Be, we won't be watching it. Yeah. And now because I've said that, we will be watching it. And now because I've said it's that, see, it's an endless, it's an endless bluff. It's an endless Alice-style collection of mirrors in Wonderland that we but that we're going down with Sean now. Mm. Um, the video clip looks amazing. It does. It's like it, 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 I mean I hate to say this whole thing about it looks like trick photography because I get so bored hearing that, but it really does look like trick photography. Yep. In real life, now Dean performed this for me uh, in in real life. In real life, we were I'll, we were both present in reality when that's, I presented. That's that's true. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be honest, uh, before the trick in began, I did point at something and say, hey, what's that? Yeah, yeah. There, there is, uh, there's something about this prop which, to my mind, stuck out as, hey, I don't think that's a real piece of, a real packet of gum. Yeah, you've got to, the problem with it is that it's a close-up. You can't be too far away to do it because it's not a parlor or cabaret size mm. trick. Mm. And if you get too close to someone, they're going to know how it works because you can, there are certain yeah. giveaways on the way the thing's been made. Yep. And also, it, I can't decide whether it's made well or it's made badly. I just can't decide. It, there are a lot of things we I can't decide. <laughs> I can't decide what I should. We should have about. called this episode the indecisive Dean episode. Yeah, because I do feel we should because I do feel a bit bad about the fact that the Cups and Balls DVD isn't that good. But there's nothing I can do about that. It's just not very good. Hmm. Um, and the, um, the I remember chewing gum when thing you, too. When you first looked at this, you you loved it. Yeah, I did. It was like I, I admit, yeah. It, it took me a while to decide it's not that good. At first, I was like, "Whoa, it's yeah, it's awesome." I've got a feeling tomorrow you're gonna love this again. I might love it again. Yeah, yeah it's one of those. Things. I was even gonna do it on stage. <laughs> I was even gonna go, "Hey, look at these two bits." If you watch for, because I had an idea that you could see it from a distance, but mm -hmm. you can't. You and can't. the people in the cheap seats, what would they have thought? They'd have just gone. Wow, he just made a tiny little green matchstick sized thing <laughs> and a tiny green yellow matchstick. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm going. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, so yeah, I'm not who sure. Do, who do you think's buying this thing? I don't know. I don't know who's buying it. Again, I think it's a bit of a toy. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a nice toy. It's, a, it's something to play but with. But we, we do know of some people who actually do do this walk around. Well, I heard of someone who did it walk around mm. and they were on to buying their third and fourth one because it was like they'd used it so much. It was, yeah, it was they'd been used already. Yep. And uh, that person so it is said, possible it yeah, to use this successfully. Absolutely, it works. It obviously works, mm. but with the right personality. I yes. think you need to have the right personality. It can on the video that you watch when they do the transformation. The the gum sticks are separate from each other. Um, that's quite a difficult way of doing it. Mm. It's more of a sleight of handy way of presenting. That it. looks better. Looks much better. Yep. I think if you work it up so that you can and you can do it fast. With the gum separate, when you shake the gum separate, turns into one packet of mints. Mm. Tip the mints out, tip the gum out, do everything that they do. It. If you present this as it's presented in the trailer, I reckon you'd get a reaction with it. Yep. I but think you'd have it. to work it up. So you'd have to really work, not a sleight of hand, but you have to work on the presentation of it. Mm. It's a little bit fiddly to make it look really good. Yeah, but not overly difficult, I wouldn't think. No, not overly difficult. No. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's it. And so that's a that's magic it. twist or... Whatever it's twister called. Twister by Illusionist, the it's snake flavour. It's a multi-title trick. <laughs> for one change. It's a single change with multi-titles. Sean's going to get the name of this right. It's going to be at the bottom of the screen. He'll do something now. Yeah. He'll, he'll do something smart I see about that. Oh, yeah. by the way, with that magic twister, snake flavour oil, uh, juicy fruit, beer mm. mint, um, you can also have the packet of mints and like could split it into the uh, gum. So oh, you can go, okay. hey, look, packet of mints. Kapow! And it yep. becomes two bits of gum. Yeah. So you can do a reversal, but it looks like a very different effect. You wouldn't want to put them together. Mm. You wouldn't want to turn gum to mints, then go break in half. I think it might telegraph the method. Mm. But you can do it as a, as a mince to gum, or a gum to mince. That pretty much wraps it up. That's it. For, for this fortnight's episode. 
We've certainly had a great time. I've had fun. I've had fun. <laughs> yeah, I have had fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we hope you've had fun too. We'll see you in a couple of weeks on Magic Mornings from Paper Magic Like. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Nothing in his. Never is. Who just said he doesn't like water? My billiard balls look great in that episode. They look really good. Yeah, they look awesome. They look awesome. Why did you sell them? I know, I sold them.